Hey everybody, so I just wanted to take a look at the four starters uh, for the AFC North NFL football this year. So for the Baltimore Ravens, of course we have Lamar Jackson, um, regular season, his regular season record in the four seasons that he's been playing in the NFL is 37 wins, 12 losses. Um, his playoff, rec playoff record is one win, three losses. He's thrown for 9,967 9, yards, 84 touchdowns, 31 interceptions. Been sacked 106 times, and he's rushed for 3,673 yards, 21 touchdowns. Um, Jacoby Brissett, who's going to start as a result of the things that's going on with Deshaun Watson in Cleveland. This is his fourth team that he's been a part of. Um, he was a starter in 2017 and 2019 with the Colts. Um, he has a 14 and 23 regular season record, six seasons in the NFL. He's thrown for 7,742 yards, 36 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. He's ran for 653 yards, 13 touchdowns. Joe Burrow for Cincinnati Bengals. Um, he has a regular season record of 12, 13, and 1. Um, playoff, 3 and 1. Led the Bengals to the Super Bowl last season. Two seasons in the NFL, um, 7,299 yards, 47 touchdowns, 19 interceptions, 83 sacks. 260 rushing yards, five touchdowns. Then you have Mitchell Trubisky of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, he has a 29 and 21 regular season record. He's 0 and 2 in the playoffs. Five seasons in the NFL. He has 10,652 yards, um, 64 touchdowns, 38 interceptions, 111 sacks. 1,081 1, yards rushing and nine touchdowns. So in terms of passing, it looks like all these guys basically have like kind of like similar stats. Um, although Joe Burrow's only been around two years, some of these guys have been around longer. Um, looks like they all bring mobility, some type of mobility. Um, to the to the table because they've all rushed for you know at least over 200 yards with Lamar Jackson being having a decided advantage in that uh, based on the type of offense that he's running in Baltimore. Um, just if I had to rank these guys myself um, from one to four, I would give. Lamar Jackson, the number one spot, just based on he's played AFC North football. He knows what it's all about. Um, his passing is definitely improving, and he, and he brings his athletic ability and running ability to the table. Um, number two, I'd say Joe Burrow, just based on last year, um, leading his team to the Super Bowl. I can't give him the edge over Lamar Jackson yet because I want to see him do it another year, a couple of years before I would put him into that spot. But, of course, if he has another year like he had last year, gets them into the postseason, they win a few games, or they get back to the Super Bowl, um, I believe that Joe Burrow will take over the number one spot in the AFC North. Number three, with Mitchell Trubisky. Um, he has a lot of in-game experience. He had that with the Chicago Bears. Um, he's played, um, like, 50 games or six, 50 or 60 games. Um, five seasons so he's seen he's seen a lot um, he's experienced he's thrown for he did make the Pro Bowl one year he strove for around 11,000 yards um, he is sacked all these guys are like sacked a lot it's one thing I noticed um, he does bring mobility to the table also in the fourth spot I will put Jacoby Brissett um, you know he does have in-game experience a lot of time he's spent as a backup. Um, he has a 14 and 23 regular season record. You know, there'll be a lot of pressure on him in Cleveland. Um, I believe Cleveland could help him by like 
just kind of running the ball, which they're really built to do, and helping him, you know, just manage the games, make some plays when they're there to be made. So that would be my ranking of the AFC North quarterbacks. That's just a little information about him. I put Lamar Jackson number one, number two, Joe Burrow, number three, Mitchell Trubisky, number four, Jacoby Brissett. Let me know what you think about this. Um, do you agree, disagree? Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and message. These stats that I have are off of NFL.com, so that's where I got these stats from, if you guys are wondering. Um, feel free to add anything in the comments. Thanks for listening. Peace.